Welcome to HeartTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is going to be a series of four videos doing landscape prep uh, in this uh, small uh, backyard. It's probably somewhere around a tenth of an acre, something like that. Uh, I've took some drone footage so we can kind of see the baseline of what it looks like today. Uh, the first step here is I'm actually going to be doing some pH testing and some soil testing. Uh, I've got several uh, ones to compare. Uh, I, want to, I want to see if some of these less expensive uh, pH testers and uh, uh, soil test uh, kits um, are accurate. And so that's the first, the first part of this video. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to paint lines on the ground where all the paths and everything are going to be and then we'll put the drone back up and you can kind of see uh, what's going to be patio and, and, and paths and what's going to be planted space uh, in the third video. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, the, the spaces that are not going to be paths or patio are going to get a, a generous uh, dose of compost that I've got some uh, compost in uh, large bags out here on my driveway that'll be applied. And then the fourth video, I'm going to mulch it. I've got some debris piles and things where I cleared out to build this shed that I'm going to use a chipper and a uh, leaf mulching, do, doing some leaf mulching and some, and some chipping of this uh, wood material to uh, create some mulch. It's not going to be enough material, so I'm going to then go buy some pine straw maybe um, and uh, go ahead and finish it off that way. And then we'll put the drone back up and see how it looks um, over the course of uh, these four steps that I'm going to be doing. In this video, um, I'm going to just be getting some soil samples. I'm going to show you how to get some soil samples and then um, how I'll go about testing those. I've got three uh, just basic um, pH meters. Actually, one is a three and one uh, meter that measures light and moisture as well, but pH is what we're going to be primarily using it for here. I've got these uh, um, little rapid tests, these uh, ones that have the little pills in them that you, that you use. This one, um, I think you can do pH testing like 10 times with this one. And then I've got a more expensive Kelway meter that I've used for years um, at the nursery, and um, I've had this one for a long time. So I, I, you know, pretty much, I trust the accuracy of this thing, but I'll be comparing it to these two lesser expense, less expensive um, ones that you can get from Amazon. And then I have, what we won't get the results of today is actual soil test, but I'll come back as soon as I receive these two back. I've got a soil test, a mail off soil test kit um, from Amazon right here that you, we're gonna, I'm gonna put the soil in here and, and it's, got, it's got a pre-addressed um, envelope inside of it to send the soil to them and then they'll mail me back the, uh, probably email me back the uh, results. And then I've got my state soil test here. I'm gonna put um, soil in here. The state facility for soil testing happens to be about a mile from me, so I'm gonna run that over there today. When I get these two back, um, I'll do a follow-up video and we'll see how this uh, Amazon uh, version, um, you know, or this, it's not Amazon's, but um, it's one I bought from Amazon, it's a mail-off version, how, how close it is to the results from my state lab uh, right here. And so, but like I say, today um, we're doing soil pH. Uh, Pro Plugger has sent me their new um, plugging tool right here uh, a few weeks ago. This is a new model and it's got a heavier step on it uh, right here um, at the bottom. So I figured I'd use this today to get these soil samples out of the ground. But this is a much nicer, the other one had um, is a great heavy made tool, but this one has a, uh, like I say, it's got a new spot to stand on down at the bottom. It's pretty nice. I'm going to go around the yard and go to about four different spaces. I'm going to get the debris off the top of the ground as much as possible. And then I'm actually just going to sink this soil probe down in the ground, just like this. And with this soil, um, with this pro plugger, it actually holds the plug uh, in there. You see it's still in there and I can actually go collect several. And then I flip it upside down and it slides out, which is what it just did right there. So uh, I can collect all the soil samples that I want or need at one time, just like that. But there's one, and I've gone down, I don't know, maybe five inches deep, something like that. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around uh, slowly, like this, and go over here to another space in the yard and collect a second one. Don't want a lot of organic material in it. Okay, there's number two. And then I'm gonna collect two more, um, uh, one back here and uh, one over here. So I'll have four samples from this backyard. So I dumped the pro plugger into my uh, wheelbarrow here and I've mixed it together pretty thoroughly. I've gotten out a lot of organic matter, I'm taking rocks out, that kind of thing. I mixed it thoroughly 
I've got four different samples that are about four inches deep into the soil. Uh, this first uh, test is this rapid test um, uh, pH soil tester right here. You use very little soil in this. It's just a little chamber on the left there with a little line here that you fill, put the soil in, and then there's a uh, this little prill, this little pill that you're supposed to uh, uh, slide apart and dump the contents into the chamber with the soil. If my hands work properly, okay, right there. Okay, so that's in there. Okay, and then we use distilled water. And they sent a little uh, little squeeze tube thing here to uh, get the water out of my jug and into here. And there's another line here that we're filling this up to. It's gonna take a couple, couple times. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, then this cap, this cap goes back on it like this. Okay, so we've got the water filled up. We got the soil filled up to that lower line, then that pill went in there, and then we filled the distilled water up to that second line, and now we mix it and we wait just a minute. I'll be right back. So the rapid test one is actually telling me that this is only slightly acidic. It's only 6.5, so we'll see. Um, that the, the, the color changes. Uh, inside and uh, the closest color to it right now is 6.5. I've waited about three or four minutes uh, on that one. Uh, the next one here is this three-in-one soil moisture light and pH tester uh, right here. I've got it right here. This one you can stick directly in the soil in the ground. I'm going to use a, uh, a cup uh, right here and uh, I've got this soil pretty thoroughly mixed here and I'm going to add a small amount of uh, distilled water to this not very much at all just to make sure it's moist and then maybe about this much okay and then this meter actually just goes down in here you set it to either moisture uh, light or pH I've got it on pH I put it down into the soil like this and then uh, we wait 10 minutes and uh, I'll be right back with you so I waited the 10 minutes and this pH meter is definitely saying it's still it's also close to 7 uh, it's actually very neutral, um, which is kind of a surprise to me. I expected the soil to be very acid. There must have been a lot of lime added over the years. I went ahead and uh, used my uh, um, higher end probe that I've been using forever. Basically same thing, filled this about two thirds of the way with that mixed soil. I put a little bit of uh, distilled water into it and uh, uh, put the probe in. And with this one, you get a pretty much instant feedback and it's a little over six. Uh, so um, seven is neutral. And so these are reading, um, I would say that that um, rapid test and this uh, son Kirk, son care, whatever, what, I don't know what it's, how you pronounce that. Um, both of those are reading a little high, but not much. This is, is still over six for sure. I got a reading of seven uh, on, on this one, on the three in one tester. I got a reading of six and a half on the rapid test and I'm getting a reading of 6.2 on my uh, Kelway uh, meter. There's gonna be two more pH tests. These two that I'm sending off will also include pH. And so um, uh, we'll be able to confirm even more, you know, how accurate uh, these are. I definitely trust, you know, this meter. I've, I've, I've been using it for a long time. And, uh, but these weren't far off. I mean, regardless, they're, they're at least, you know, they're, they're, they're in the neighborhood for sure. They, they weren't far off from it at all. So as this rapid test is sat there, it's actually fallen a little bit more, closer to six, which is right in line um, with where my uh, you know higher end tool uh, measured it, this one right here measured it a little bit high, but uh, not too bad. I mean, all three of them were fairly accurate. You know, this is a eighty dollar uh, tool, and this is a I think a fifteen sixteen dollar tool. I can't remember how much this was, but it's under ten dollars. Uh, so I, I mean, I, I would I pretty much trust all three of them to at least get you in the in the ballpark uh, of accuracy. This uh, mail order one right here uh, the soil test and this one's going to give us you know all of our macro and micronutrient uh, information um, it comes in a prepaid um, envelope and uh, there's just a little container right here that you open and fill with soil and there's not a, it doesn't need a whole lot it's one, you know a little scooper like this comes with it to put it in there and then you stick it in the mail and like I say it's prepaid 
we got this soil that we had mixed in here, which will fill up. Again, if there's any roots or anything, I'd pull those out. Okay, I got it here. Putting the cap back on it. Putting that down tight and it'll slide into that envelope and just go in the mail. And uh, that's it uh, for that one. My state um, test kit, just you, you, it comes, you get a little box from them and then there's a little piece of paper I have to fill out as well with my address and everything on it. And it actually asked me for what crops I'm growing, uh, that kind of thing. So I'll just, use, I'll just say shrubs and trees. I'm not growing corn. You know, it'll ask you very specific things and it'll give you recommend, the state will actually give you recommendations for different crops you might be growing. But this one, we just, you know, close up the box and fill it up with soil and then I'll drop it off over there. Fill out that little piece of paper and drop it off over there. This one will probably take a little longer to come back, but as soon as it comes back, uh, I'll have this one uh, and this one and uh, we'll do a comparison test and I'll show you, you know, there, some deficiencies um, I'm just not going to worry about and some I will, but I'll go over all that when I receive these two. But this video was mainly about the pH testers. And I'm, uh, you know, fairly impressed with uh, the accuracy of those uh, inexpensive uh, versions that you can you can get on Amazon. There is a card to fill out and send back with the uh, one that with the mail order uh, soil test kit. Like I say, I'm going to do a follow up video when I get these two uh, full soil tests back. They'll also include pH, so we'll have a fourth and fifth. Uh, I'll have a fourth and fifth pH test uh, from this backyard, but I believe that it's up between six and seven, which is. Um, slightly acidic is probably dialed in almost perfect for most things. I have a video that I did in the past called Why is pH so important? And uh, if you want to go back and watch that video, I think it's fairly interesting. Um, uh, soil pH determines nutrient availability. You can actually have nutrients in the ground that your plants need, but they're inaccessible based on the pH of your soil. And so, you know, if you want to go back and watch that video, um, it's fairly interesting. Um, some plants like have, you know, very acidic soil. Most plants like soil that's about where mine is, which is super, super interesting. I'm used to having much more uh, acid-based soils uh, than what I have here, but slightly acid, great. Hope it gets confirmed uh, with these two tests. Again, uh, tune back in for the uh, second part of this because I'm gonna be laying out the paths and everything back here. And the third and fourth part will uh, follow behind that uh, very quickly. Thanks for watching.